guys, welcome back to the Misfit Toy Collectors. Dreadnought Ryan here, and here are my favorite G.I. Joes. I know I had more Cobras, and I had honorable mentions with them, um, and it's not that I don't like the rest of the Joe team. It's just there's certain Joe figures through the classified line that I find uh, are my favorites, and let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the man himself, Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, I think Hasbro did an amazing job with this particular figure. Love the way that the glasses fit on Sarge. Uh, the whistle, he does come with the swagger stick. The swappable hands, um, which allows you to get a lot of fun poses. Um, also, Adam Rich's artwork on the outside of this particular figure was just absolutely amazing. Um, there have been a number of Sergeant Slaughter figures, whether you collect Mattel, uh, Valiverse, or of course the Hasbro um, this is my Sergeant Slaughter. Um, as a kid, this was my first mail away figure, uh, the wrestling entire Sergeant Slaughter. Um, and then when this one came out with the Triple T tank, the tag team Terminator tank, I had to get this as well, too, as he was such a big part of the cartoon at the time. Um, and I just had to have Sergeant Slaughter. Knowing him from wrestling uh, and then having him join my favorite uh, cartoon and action figure line was just absolutely perfect. Um, I did add some gear from Gridiron. So uh, a new belt with a sidearm. Of course, he has his bullhorn as he is the drill instructor uh, for the G.I. Joe team. Now with eh, Crockmaster, we did get... Fiona, and with Snake Eyes, we get Timber. Uh, we've had two versions of Timber, which is the all-white and the gray. Uh, this particular <laughs> animal companion is just amazing as far as the articulation that they were able to put into this figure, the swappable head so you can get the crazy, gnarly, uh, mad, you know, going to tear your throat out type of uh, attack wolf with the amazing details they've got in the eyes of this particular figure um and then to bring back the og feeling snake eyes which is based off the stalker buck um but this particular you know snake eyes was my snake eyes as a kid it was the first and uh him being the you know um kind of this is before he was the ninja and he was more of that you know special operations uh throwback to the British SAS as they were, you know, breaking into that embassy to rescue the hostages. Uh, the commando style Snake Eyes is my favorite. Um, just with the great deco and gear that they've offered up. The upgrade on the boots. Uh, the knife, which I think is just a nice addition to. Um, you can get it out. Uh, just, you know, an absolute just beauty. Uh, the sidearms. And then, of course the um the vest and everything is more tactical uh it, it's just a nice throwback i do also like the uh, the mask that he's wearing too this throws to probably my favorite joe of all time and that's stalker um the classified version of stalker i think is amazing he comes with a lot of great accessories yeah he comes with the scarf um you know a couple different rifles uh, of course, I did upgrade mine with the gridiron kit with the M16 with the starlight scope. Uh, throwback to the G.I. Joe comic. You know, Stalker is from Detroit. I'm from Michigan, so he was always one of my favorite Joes. Um, and I think just with the Hasbro team, they just knocked this one out of the park. I think it's a great mix between the original Stalker and then, of course, uh, the upgraded Stalker that we saw in uh, the Pursuit of Cobra in the 30th Anniversary line. Um, just absolutely love this figure. Um, you know, of course, like I said, I did upgrade some of his uh, equipment as well, too. Uh, but he does sit with the place of honor in my collection. Outback has to be the perfect figure that I think I've ever seen come out of, like, Hasbro or Mattel. You know, the... Um, mass production type action figure line. The head sculpt on him is just absolutely amazing. The gray and the white wash in his hair and his beard. His strikingly blue eyes as they peer out at you. Um, the t-shirt, even with the tiger on it, it's not like the um, uh, Real American Hero Tiger Force one where it was kind of, you know, just kind of goofy. Um, it's awesome. Uh, the deco... The leg, the buck themselves, all of the accessories that he comes with, the backpack. 
I mean, it's just absolute home run to the arm hair on his, um, his arms is just amazing. And then when you look at the Outback that just came out in the general release with the Survivor shirt on, it, you know, it just goes to show you that this is the Outback that's seen some shit. And the redhead Outback is the one that hasn't seen everything just yet. Uh, but he's probably, you know, just right out of the box. I haven't added any upgrades to that particular figure because I really think it's just perfect the way he is. Um, and then finally, this figure really blew me away. Uh, again, another companion. Uh, we do get freedom to go along with Spirit, which he has, you know, articulation. You have the swappable wings, which is amazing. Uh, you have the backpack with the perch as well as the um, the pegs in the arm so that he can hold freedom. Uh, but overall, this is just an amazing upgrade to a figure that we had uh, as kids in the Real American Hero line, um, as well as, you know, just a nice mix from what we saw in the 30th anniversary. Um, I did give him a Winchester. If you're a, a kid who ever watched The Rifleman, you know uh, this particular gun. I do also like the sniper rifle that they did provide with them as well too um i just had that western feel that i wanted to keep with spirit i love the deco on the knife and the knife sheath itself um uh, just you know it's just crazy how they were able to get a lot of this onto these small items the pistol itself has an eagle sculpted into it I mean, it's just absolutely crazy uh, what you were able to do with this particular figure with all the different deco and paint apps that they've been able to add. Uh, and then, of course, just with the accessories itself. Um, absolute home run. Just uh, overall amazing figure. Um, and that's why these five are my favorite Joe figures uh, so far. And I know that we're going to get more. Um, I, I've seen folks already have gotten Rock and Roll. That looks like an amazing uh, figure. I'm excited for Torpedo, Shipwreck, of course. Um, and then some of the, the named figures that we know are coming out as well, too. Uh, I think it's just going to be a, a very fun 2023 for classified collectors. Um, and we'll be able to continue to add some amazing uh, figures and characters to our shelves. But I hope you guys are having a great day, evening, night, wherever you're at on the island. Uh, thank you again for all your support. You guys are all absolute legends, and I will be talking to you all soon. Yo, Joe!